Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. What is a grade five metatarsal stress fracture? Well, that's what we're talking about today on the Doc on the Run podcast. Okay, so if you're a runner and you think you have a grade five stress fracture because your radiology report said that or some doctor told you that, well, I have some good news and some bad news. Now, the good news is, is that you don't, need to, you don't really even have a stress fracture if you have a grade five stress fracture. It's not a stress fracture at all. Now, the bad news is, is a grade five stress fracture is what we call a non-union where you had a stress fracture, but that stress fracture actually failed to heal. So now you have basically an unhealed and probably not going to heal stress fracture unless you do something. Now, most people that get a stress fracture have very little risk of actually progressing to a grade five stress fracture. So if you're a runner and you have some aching in your foot and you have a beginning kind of stress fracture, like a grade one or grade two stress fracture, and you take some time off, that'll usually go away uneventfully. If you continue to run on it, you continue to beat it up, you continue to apply forces to the metatarsal in the same way that caused the stress fracture, well, it can obviously progress. And it does progress from a grade one to a grade two to a grade three, where you actually have a crack that's visible on the x-ray. And if you keep running on it, it can turn into a displaced metatarsal stress fracture where the bone is actually cracked and moved out of position. Now, in that odd position, when it's displaced, when it's moved apart, it's a lot, lot harder for your body to heal it. Now, if you continue to walk on it, run on it, whatever, while it's out of position, it's not going to heal. And then eventually what happens is the ends of the bones kind of get closed off with scar tissue or bone that can really prevent it from healing at all. That's when you get a grade five stress fracture, which is a non-union of a prior stress fracture. So it was a stress fracture, but when it becomes grade five, you have radiologic evidence like sclerotic bone, hard bone, sort of covering at the end of the bone or a shape of the bone that implies it's covered with scar tissue or something that tells us it's not healed and it's probably not going to heal unless we do something drastic. So if you have a grade five stress fracture, you've got to do something. So certainly you want to follow your doctor's advice. Sometimes surgery is necessary. Sometimes uh, something like a bone stimulator coupled with some strategies like taking pressure off of it and not walking on it, immobilizing it. Those things can sometimes get it to heal, but those things often take a long time. So grade stri five stress fracture is serious in that it becomes a non-union. Now the good news is, believe it or not, is that sometimes when you get a grade five stress fracture and you have lots of scar tissue between the two pieces of bone where it's stable and it doesn't hurt and it's become what we call a non-painful non-union, you can actually run on it, train on it, and not have any issues. I also saw a woman one time with, I took an x-ray of her foot, and she had a grade five stress fracture of her second metatarsal that she had had for over 50 years. And she'd been playing tennis several days a week for decades and didn't even know it was there. So you can get enough stability sometimes that it's not an issue, but if you have pain and you have a grade five stress fracture, that's a real problem. So follow your doctor's advice. But like I said, if you think you have a stress fracture and you're trying to figure these things out, go check out the stress fracture masterclass. Just go to docontherun.com slash stress fracture masterclass and you can get it there for free. I'll see you in the training. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.